Creations, Tracy with Artful Creations by Tracy, here with another design team project for Tailor Made Cards for You. This month is about Christmas, as it should be. <laughs> and I believe we all got to choose what we wanted to do. So please be sure to check out everyone else's videos. There will be links below because we all will be using something different. I have here four different digital kits. Now they're not all huge kits, so you'll see that in just a minute. This first sheet I have here is the ATC shopping carts, and I just really love those. Right away I, I look at this and I see they would make great tags. Um, however, I'm, I'm just gonna do cards this uh, month, but these would make definitely great Christmas tags. So this is the ATC shopping carts. And the next three are Christmas ad ephemeras. So let's look at those. Really pretty. This could even actually be the background of a card by itself. And I just printed them as they were. I did not do any resizing this time. So here's sheet one. Here is sheet two from the Christmas Ad Ephemera. And here is sheet three. All wonderful pieces. And then the next set I am using is the Christmas pattern grunge set. These are already, now actually I did resize these, so I misspoke when I said I didn't do any resizing. <laughs> these I already resized. I sized them a little bit larger than my card because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the whole thing for the background or if I want to cut them down, so I just resized them each to four and a half by five and a half, or maybe it was four and a quarter by five and a half. But these are two of the patterns. I believe there's six total. Here are two more. Look at these cardinals. Love those. And of course I do love hollies as well. And two more. Poinsettias or poinsettias. However everyone says them. I don't know if there's a wrong way or a right way. And then the last sheet I have here, these are Christmas seals. Uh, they're dated 1950 through 1959. And I'm not 100% sure, hang on one second. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are 10 different ones. You get a full sheet of them, or if you don't want a full sheet, you can always um, manipulate them and, um, you know, since they're digital. This is uh, 1955, and I really like this one, so I thought I would print just this one out because it is a full sheet. Now I'm going to get started with doing some card making, and I will do that mostly off camera. Uh, maybe I'll come back and assemble one or two cards. So I will be back. Welcome back, friends. I have completed my cards and I just got so involved that I didn't even remember that I wanted to perhaps assemble one together. So that didn't happen, sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards I made and show you the things that I actually added to them aside from the digital pieces. And as you see, I did not use them all. This whole stack here is New Year stuff, and I will use that with other cards. I wanted to focus on Christmas right now, but I did use quite a bit. What I added to this, as you see, this little guy here and a button. Now, I have a few of these items. This, I'll show you the next card. Uh, Santas. So there were a whole bunch of Santas and sayings and that actually is a vintage kit 
Oh, here we are. Uh, from Anna Griffin. Uh, mini Santa Claus stickers and sentiments. But they're, in my opinion, vintagey. Comes in this really nice box. And this is how they come. So I, I dove in and grabbed a few of these things to make my cards up. Here is the next card. The background I used was the stamps. And I remembered I have several of these different sizes. Stamp cuts or <laughs> punch. Thank you. Bring. <laughs> and so it cuts a little, makes it into a little stamp. Uh, I mean, you can always cut it yourself, but this made it so much easier. And so what I did, I just popped these two up, giving it a little bit more dim dimension. Here is the next card. And you're going to see a whole bunch of these little guys here. I also used some buttons that I had in my stash. And maybe you remember the company called Dress It Up. This was the buttons that I used for uh, here, as well as this guy here. Oh, and probably that. Dress it up. I don't know if they still make them or if they're still around, but they always had such great button shapes and colors and etc. etc. So I did use this piece after all, and then I added uh, some just things I had that were um, in my stash, leftover scraps. You might hear my dogs playing in the background. They sound vicious, but they're really not. Here's the next one. And the next one. And the next one. And last but not least, again, this was a scrap I had to give it, it was perfect because it matches. And I think I made so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten cards. So ten cards with very little out of my scraps. I'll have the pictures show up at the end. And don't forget to visit Monica's Facebook page, her blog. There is a 10% coupon, 20% coupon, 20%. I th well, now I'm questioning myself. I do this every month and I can't remember. Forgive me, but it will be linked below what the discount will be. And also if you enter anything goes on her blog, uh, you can win a $10 gift card. So that being said, thank you for watching my video again. Don't forget to check everybody else's videos out because I'm sure they're going to have some absolutely stunning and beautiful projects for you to check out. Thanks so much and you have a wonderful and blessed day.